Hi guys. Welcome to the tutorial. In my previous tutorial, we have seen how to implement one-way binding. This tutorial focuses on two-way binding. So let's begin. So I have taken a quick start project of Angular 4. Now to demonstrate two-way binding, we will just create a class employee which is having two fields emp id and emp name now we will import this class here okay now we have to create an instance of employee class and then fill value into it and then modify it accordingly using two-way binding. Now we can see here I have a variable of my employee of type employee and the set employee function I am creating a new instance of employee class and assigning it back to the man, my employee variable. This is the emp id and the emp name as shown here. Now we require the set employee function to be called only once using ng on in it. But for this function to be invoked, we require to implement on in it okay we have to first import it here and then implement here okay so for just testing I will just print this variable value here using interpolation I will print the emp name is right now robot okay so you can see here the name robot is displayed now we will implement the two-way binding I will create input type and assign the value my employee name to it and there is an input event in which I will assign whatever is printed into or whatever is typed into the text box that will be automatically assigned to the variable. For example, event dot target dot value. So whatever I type into the text box, it will be assigned back to my employee dot empty. So let's check it. Okay, one thing he here is that we have to put the value in square bracket, otherwise it will accept it as string. Putting it into the square bracket tells Angular that it is a property. Now we can see here that the value of the field is displayed. If I try to change anything here, it will be reflected throughout. So I change something here, it is reflected here. There is also a second way to implement two-way binding using ng module. So for that we require to import forms module. 
in our module. We'll also import it here in the imports array. And now we'll write import ng model equal to my employee dot amp name now let's see it here if I try to change anything here it is reflected everywhere it's so when you define ng model in this way and assign it to our field name, whatever changes we are making into the input, it will be assigned back to the model and those changes will be reflected back in the field. So thus in this tutorial, we have seen how to implement two-way binding in Angular. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.